for fewer fingernails to clean. Sir Davos Seaworth wanted to take out Melisandre, but allegedly she saw his purpose in her flame, so she had him arrested. Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. Stannis' hand at the time, Sir Axel Florent, he wanted to give Sir Davos to R'hllor, but Melisandre told Stannis to pardon Davos. Why did she do that? She did that because she believes that Davos will serve R'hllor for a second time. The first time was when he smuggled her under the magical walls of Storm's End so that she could release Stannis' shadow child. But what did Melisandre mean when she told Davos that he would serve R'hllor again? Did she tell Stannis to pardon Davos for a specific reason? And if so, does Melisandre know what Davos is going to do? We believe so. There are a lot of clues. What we are going to go over today did not happen in the show, for better and worse. But George R. R. Martin has set up this theory to happen in the Winds of Winter. Sir Davos Seaworth, one of the best people in the entire story, he is going to do one of the worst things in the story. I think you're a traitor. Are you? Here's the Dark Davos Theory. You're watching Bridge Four. Alright, over 16 years prior, after Robert's Rebellion, Stannis cut off the last four digits of Davos's fingers on his left hand. But strangely enough, I still keep the finger bones in a bag around my neck to remind me what I was and what I owed to Stannis. Davos also considered those bones to be his luck. So when he sailed up the Blackwater before the battle, Davos grabbed his lucky pouch of finger bones and he said a prayer. And he grabbed it again shortly before his boat blew up. But when Davos woke up all alone on that island, he discovered that he had lost his lucky pouch of finger bones. Here's where it gets interesting. Saladar noticed that Davos didn't have his little bag of finger bones. Davos subconsciously reached for that missing pouch at least four times after losing them. And Davos even thought about his four lost finger bones when he was writing his eulogy letter to his son Devon. In other words, George R. R. Morin keeps reminding us about Davos's finger bones. They're important. At face value, those four finger bones, they're a metaphor for the four sons whom he lost at the Battle of Blackwater. He lost his four finger bones, and more importantly, he lost four sons that day. But it's better than that. Melisandre uses bones as part of her glamour magic. She did this with Mance Raider. She used Rattleshirt's bones to help with the glamour magic. Quote, the bones remember. The strongest glamours are built of such things. A dead man's boots, a hank of hair, a bag of finger bones. So, it's pretty on the nose. Melisandre told Stannis to pardon Davos. And Melisandre told Davos that he is going to serve the Lord of Light again. What she really means is that she needs him alive because she has his bag of finger bones and she's going to glamour someone to look like him. That begs two questions. When and how did she get the bones? And what will fake Davos do? Melisandre had to have gotten Davos's pouch of finger bones before the Battle of Blackwater, which means the pouch that he prayed to at the Blackwater, the pouch that he lost, they were not even his bones. She had already taken them. We don't know when she stole them, but it would be poetic if she stole them when he had smuggled her into Storm's End. Why? Because that would mean that Davos lost his four finger bones for the first time after smuggling onions into Storm's End for Stannis, and then Stannis chopped them off, and then Davos lost them a second time for real when he smuggled Melisandre into the same place and she stole them. The exact timing is not important. She stole them before the Battle of Blackwater. That's all we need to know. Here's the bigger question. What is Melisandre going to have fake Davos do? How will fake Davos serve the Lord of Light? Most likely, Shireen. We know from the HBO showrunners and we know from this clue here, her dragon dreams, that Shireen's got to burn. But Stannis is not a castle black. So Melisandre could have fake Davos, who is the Hand of the King. She could have him come to Castle Black and state that Stannis wants to burn Shireen. She could also have fake Davos trick Shireen and walk her to the fire the way that Stannis did in the book. Something like that. But long story short, if we see Davos show up at Castle Black, it's probably not Davos. It's Dark Davos. And if that happens, we should expect that soon after, Shireen will meet the dragon of her dreams, namely fire. 